Okay, let's look at how to make a copy of your plan or your presentation to save it for another time and not to lose it. So to take a copy of one of your plans, let's see, first you can make a copy, save the original, and you go here, which is file. And when you click file, you will click make a copy of the entire presentation. And just wait one second and it'll make the copy. You then can name what you're going to do like lesson one, week one, Now let's say you want to share this with the student after they complete it. What you will do then to share, you have a couple options. My favorite way to share is first you click your share button and um, as you see it's restricted and let's take a note here. You can see it looks locked. It's private to you only. Now to share this with your students, first you're going to have to unrestrict it. So you're going to click that and you're going to say anyone with link and you do not want to give anybody the ability to be an editor unless you're working as a team or possibly in a class with an older student that will not play with the slide. I like to keep it as viewer and what you do now is you will copy that link. Go into the toolbar, control V, and we're going to change it just a bit. Just to give the student a copy, you can write copy or you write template slash preview. This allows them to look at the lesson, to work with the lesson, and decide if they would like to save this lesson. If they like that lesson, then and then only they will hit use template. Now this lesson will be saved into their drive and they can edit it themselves because this is their own copy of this lesson. So this is how you can make a copy and share your lessons with your students. I hope you find this very informative. Have a wonderful day.